Toni Morrison, who is a Nobel Literature Laureate and Pulitzer Prize winner, is adding a new award to her name. The novelist will soon be presented with the American Academy of Arts and Sciences Emerson Thoreau Medal. The prize was established in 1958 to honor individuals for a lifetime of literary achievements. Previous recipients include T.S. Eliot, Saul Bellow, and Norman Mailer. As you may have guessed, I don't think there is anybody in my family who has ever had a portrait done, let alone a portrait that will be hanging in the National Gallery. I started writing when I was eight or nine, and I think part of it was uh, out of the isolation of the injury. My brothers and I were playing cowboys and Indians. One of my brothers shot me in the eye and I lost the vision. So because of that, I was able to get a partial scholarship to college. And so in the end, you can't even really regret your misfortunes because they led you somewhere. With more than 50 films to her credit, casting producer Robbie Reed is responsible for launching the careers of such A-list actors as Denzel Washington, Holly Berry, Samuel L. Jackson, Beyonce, Queen Latifah, and Jamie Foxx. In 1997, Reed earned an Emmy Award for her exceptional work in casting the Tuskegee Airmen for HBO Pictures, and in so doing, made history by becoming the first African American to be nominated and win an Emmy for casting. Reed is now Vice President of Talent and Casting for Original Programming at BET. Quilts. Like a fading piece of cloth, I am a failure. No longer do I cover tables filled with food and laughter. My seams are frayed, my hems falling, my strength no longer able to hold the hot and cold. I wish for those first days, when just woven, I could keep water from seeping through repelled stains with the tightness of my weave, dazzle the sunlight with my reflection. I grow old, though pleased with my memories. The tasks I can no longer complete are balanced by the love of the task gone past. I offer no apology, only this plea. When I am frayed and strained and drizzled at the end, please someone, cut a square and put me in a quilt that I might keep some child warm. And some old person with no one else to talk to will hear my whispers and cuddle near. I'm Nikki Giovanni. The reason I love quilts so much is that I am old and I do hope that I can warm some old person 
or delight some young person. Life has changed. My life has changed and the life around me has changed. I hope I've done a good job, but if I haven't, I hope someone cuts a little corner and says she was here, she tried.